Hello, my friends. So it is Tuesday, the fourth week of Lent. And I remember when, when we got started doing this all those weeks ago, you on that side of the screen and well, me on this side of the screen and oh gosh, weren't we just so young and vibrant at that time? Oh, just remembering back. Okay, well that's enough of that silliness, but I am super happy that you have been able to carve out this time in your day, in your weeks, to be able to um, press play on your side of the screen and, and get into God's word as we look at the Psalms as they relate to our Lenten journey. For today, let's go ahead and get into that next one. We're going to look at contrition, and we're gonna use Psalm 51 to help draw us closer to that word. Psalm 51, 17 says this, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Guilt, shame, remorse, all three get bundled together into contrition, have you ever heard of a convicted criminal who expresses guilt and shame but shows no remorse? They admit that what they did was wrong and they might even feel ashamed, but in the end they are not sorry. And under the same circumstances, they might even do it again. It hits home, doesn't it? I mean, how many times have we recited this from Psalm 51? Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And we say that, hoping to skirt right past what that verse actually means. King David had been confronted by his sin, and he wrote these words in a spirit of deep penitence. Psalm 51 is one of seven penitential psalms. They are 6, 32, 38, 51, 102, 130, and 143. So, when our own guilt and shame turn into remorse and we don't have the words, the psalmist provides them for us. Let's pray. Forgiving Lord, purge us with hyssop and we will be clean. Wash us and we shall be whiter than snow. We thank you for these words from Psalm 51, verse 7. Amen. And now, my friends, please turn to Psalm 51 and read all of that and then head all the way back to Luke 18 and read 9 through 14. I love you, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.